Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this quadrilateral A, B, C, D such that this angle A is 60 degrees, this angle B is 60 degrees as well, and this angle C is 90 degrees, and moreover, this side length A, D is 48 units, and this side length BC is 60 units and now we are going to calculate this length AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed any further let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's do some uh, additional construction. Let me go ahead and extend this uh, line segment AD all the way to some uh, point uh, P. And let me go ahead and extend this uh, side length uh, BC as well. And they meet at each other at point P. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. Now let's recall this triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of these uh, all three angles, uh, this angle, this angle must be equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we conclude that this angle has got to be 60 degrees. And we also know that this angle is 90 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, small triangle uh, PCD and I have copied it down over here. And this is our 30, 60, 90 special triangle. And in such kind of triangle, uh, our this longest leg is twice the length of uh, this uh, smallest leg. Therefore, let me go ahead and call this side uh, PC as uh, A units. Uh, then our this longest leg is going to be 2a and now let's focus on this big triangle uh, abp as you can see over here and we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this angle uh, equal to this angle therefore this side length ap has got to be equal to this side length uh, bp and now we know that this uh, side length uh, AD is 48 units and this side length uh, DP is uh, 2A. So the total side length is going to be 48 plus 2A. And likewise, let's focus on this uh, side length. Uh, BC is 60 units and this side length uh, PC is 8 units so this total length is going to be 60 plus a and we know that our ap length turns out to be 48 plus 2a let me go ahead and just write it down 48 plus 2a equals to and for bp our side length is 60 plus a so let me go ahead and write down 60 plus a. Now let's go ahead and move this 48 on the right hand side. At the same time, I'm going to move this a on the left hand side. So we got 2a, then this become minus a equal to 60 minus 48. So therefore, our length a equals to, turns out to be, 12 units therefore this length uh, PC turns out to be 12 units and this one is 2 times 12 is going to be 24 units uh, for this uh, DP so the total side length for this side AP is going to be 48 plus 24 that is going to give us uh, 72 units likewise on this side bp is going to be 60 plus 12 is going to give us 72 units as well here's our final step we know that this big triangle abp is an equilateral triangle since all these three angles are 
60 degrees therefore the side lengths a b equals to a p equals to b p we know that these side lengths are 72 units so this side length a b has got to be 72 units so therefore this a b is going to be 72 units as well so thus our length a b turns out to be 72 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye